Hi, so the purpose of this screenshot is int to introduce you to some of the work we have doing, been doing to build a certification system for QGIS and other open source projects that want to um, use the same approach. So first a little bit of history. Back in um, uh, about five or six years ago we had a, a QGIS developer meeting Hackfest in um, Wroclaw in Poland and there was a lot of discussion about us developing a certification program for QGIS. Now, um, following that, we went into a lot of thinking and experimenting and prototyping, trying to find a system that would work well for the project. And there were a couple of problems with the approach, uh, the various approaches that we looked at. In the first instance, we, th we thought of having like an online metric system where basically people would um, sign up to the certification program and then they would get um, a bunch of, like a computer-based examination where they would be asked a bunch of questions from a pool of, say, 500 questions. And um, uh, based on the replies, that the, the responses they give to those questions, we would automatically pass or fail them and, um, and then um, issue a certificate. But there are a couple of problems with that approach. The, the main one being that um, the, the, the development of all these questions was a highly um, like human intensive task. And just as a developer community or as a community of volunteers, finding people to actually build up this, this database of questions um, would be difficult. And then also stopping people gaming the system would be difficult because probably eventually um, just as the other sort of online certifications, people would just post all the questions that they remember online and soon there would be a pretty comprehensive database of what the questions were. And so people would tend to study the, the questions answers rather than the actual content of the, the coursework. Um, and then another problem with that approach was that um, the, the, the sort of just online testing approach didn't work well for um, all user groups, so in particular academic users, um, they do a more um, mentor-based um, um, system of assessment where the students are given um, theoretical training and then they're given tasks and then they have to submit some kind of a portfolio and that's evaluated. And that kind of approach is very hard to replicate with the online um, sort of exam-based system. So um, after doing a lot of thinking, we, we took a step back and said, well, actually, we don't think that as a project it's viable for us right now to be building like an online uh, testing system, and we should rather focus on the certification um, platform. So based on that thinking, what we did was um, we sort of devised a basic set of uh, requirements. When, uh, the one is that um, the, the participating organizations in the certification program should be um, um, sort of um, included in the program by a, a network of trust. So we would uh, we would start with a small group of people and organizations that we trust and know uh, from within the community as being uh, competent and uh, good quality trainers and um, let them certify their own students and um, but use um, but provide a platform where they could issue the certificates and that we could keep track of who's been given a certificate and that we can for example produce a database of people who have been certified um, to use QGIS and at what levels and with which organizations and um, and so that's what we built and that's what I would like to show you um, in this in this video um, so I'm going to um, be looking on the staging site of our changelog. So if you go to changelog.qgis.org, this is a platform that we've built for preparing the um, release changelogs. And um, the platform also supports various other functions. So one of the functions we've added now is the certification program. So I'm going to dive into the QGIS project just by clicking on the, the title at the top there. And you'll see in the menu now we've added the certification here. And the idea is that um, as a certifying organization, you would come along and you would register yourself here. So I'm just going to put a, um, a dummy one in here and we'd say, um, put in some details for the organization. Um, and the address and so on. I'm just going to put dummy information in for now. Um, and the country where you're based, um, um, and your phone number, 
and then you put in your company logo um, I'm not going to put that in right now and then you would nominate who um, would be the organization owners and by default you the user creating the new organization would be added and you can create one or more owners um, and then submit that organization and when the, when you submit the organization it's going to go into um, a moderation queue and as a moderator I can come along and then approve um, the organization so I'll just go ahead and approve this and you'll see that we now have uh, two organizations here this is created by somebody else testing the system and this is the one that I've just added um, to the platform and then within that organization you as the owner have full control over what happens within your organization and um, the, the functionality is split into these four main areas which is the establishment of training centers um, the establishment of course types the definition of your course conveners or trainers they don't have to be the trainer, it could be the person or um, responsible for putting on the course um, and then um, the definition of your courses themselves so I'm just going to jump through uh, the process of doing this quickly I'll first of all register a training center so the idea here is that one organization may have more than one training center for example my company has a training center in Cape Town and one in Johannesburg and so within the one company I could be training from each of those venues um, so let's just call this Cape Town and um, let's fill in some details here okay and right and then you can place on the map where your um, organization is based I'm just going to put a dot near Cape Town somewhere there um, and the idea with these is that we can later produce a map on the main project site which shows where all the training centers is, uh, are across all the organizations that are providing training um, so and I have one training center I could add more if I want to and then I can create course types and again it's totally up to the organization that's providing the training to establish what the course types are so for example I might do um, QGIS introduction as a course type and um, put some details in like that this is the basics of where you learn QGIS uh, this is where you can learn the basics of QGIS and we'll say how many instruction hours you have for the course and a link to the course um, this is all just fictitious um, these th links so don't try and follow them you won't find anything at the end of the link um, something like that okay so now I've established one training center one course type I'm going to register one or more conveners and the co course convener is um, um, just somebody who's able to run a course for you um, and you should normally attach the signature of the convener you'll see when we look at the certificates later why we might want to do that okay and then I've now got the, those three things defined I can go ahead and define a new course so a course is one instance of a course based on its course type who the convener is, where it's being trained, and what the dates are for the course. So it's something like that. And then you can attach this template certificate for that course. Now I'm going to see if I can just dig one out here for my, um, my desktop. Um, um, sorry, I'm just going to go find it quickly. okay so now we've created a new course and then we can go along and uh, view the course and add um, attendees to the course so the attendees do not need to register on this platform the course convener um, will go ahead and create new attendees so I'm just gonna um, put a fake one here So you just add each each attendee and yourself and the email will only be used to email in the, the templates we don't use them the email address for any other reason um, so you just add as many attendees as you need to uh, the given training course and you'll see then that um, you can populate the course attendees here 
And then those that have completed the course successfully and you want to issue a certificate to, uh, can be issued a certificate by pressing this button here. And um, our plan is to have a, an e-commerce um, application linked to this, which will give a donation back to the QGIS project. So for QGIS, we're going to be charging $20 US for each certificate. And so um, we haven't implemented it yet, but it's coming soon. You'll have a, an option to go and buy, as an organization owner, to go and buy credits. Um, um, and then every time you issue a certificate, it will use one credit. And the, the, the purchase credits will be done by PayPal and go to the, um, the actual project itself. So in this way, you can support the project by issuing certificates um, uh, for, the, for your course attendees. Plus, you get the benefit of when you issue a certificate, um, the certificate recipient will get an email. So this is an example with a template. Um, they'll get an email containing a link to this um, PDF. They'll also get a unique number, which is listed here, for example. So this certificate issued is, is QGIS 4. Um, and if I, if I click on the actual link, it will come up to a page which identifies this certificate, like who it was issued to, um, where the training happened, which company gave the training, what course was, um, was held, and so on. Um, so the idea is that when you get issued a QGIS certificate, you can put it in your CV or submit it with your job application, and the potential employer can actually come back and validate that the certificate was indeed issued to you and is a QGIS kind of endorsed certificate. Um, and that's it. Uh, the only part that I didn't show was just how that um, certificate itself was uh, con compiled and um, um, that I can do by just, um, just finding it quickly. So um, here's the template that I used. So you just um, need to use an art program or get your graphic designer to make up this basic template. And then um, the application will, um, will actually go ahead and overlay the details of the course attendee and the organization and the course convener onto the certificate. And you can either um, leave the course convener's uh, signature attachment blank, but if you do attach it, it will, it will sign it with a digital signature, and the same for the project representative, it will sign it. So um, it's quite simple then to make a customized template, so just to compare again, um, that's what it looked like for the template, and then the other content that you see over here, um, it's just been uh, superimposed onto that template background. So yeah, so that's how the certification plan um, looks at the moment. And we will have the, um, the, the payment system set up soon, and you'll be able to go and buy credits. And it's going to be using the Web of Trust, as I mentioned. So in order to get your, your certifying organization certified, you'd, you're going to need to get someone to um, like second your application. So you need to find somebody else who's already been certified or is in the community who can vouch for you as being a bona fide user until we have some better system in the future. That's probably a good way to get started.